Review 2023 Subaru WRX When drivers of lesser sport compacts are ready for a heightened, track-ready performance experience, a lot of times they head for the Subaru WRX. Born to go rally racing, the distinct all-wheel drive sedan has matured into a practical conveyance, a new version of which was introduced for 2022. The 2023 Subaru WRX is a carryover and competes with both all-wheel drive models like the Toyota GR Corolla and front-wheel drive models like the Hyundai Elantra N. The sting of not getting a higher performance STI model for this generation WRX has waned partly because what we got is quite good. On paved roads, it grips like a sports car and will give some smaller luxury AWD cars a run for their money. It's, still, plenty powerful, and its fingertip light steering, while numb, is direct. And like most modern compact sedans with seating for five, it's practical, even spacious. Although it's fun to drive, the flat four engines narrow power band and car's track-ready suspension keep you on your toes behind the wheel. This WRX is also one of the slowest WRXs to 60 miles per hour we've tested in the past 20 years, in part because its heavily damped clutch works against sudden dumps that previously produced rapid acceleration times. But those are some minor nits to pick for a vehicle that continues to be a rewarding driver's car. A little harder to forgive is the powertrain's disappointing fuel economy, which is bettered by any number of forward rivals. The 2023 WRX boasts the largest turbocharged engine among its closest sport compact competitors, a 2.4-liter unit that pumps out 271 horsepower and 258 pounds to foot of torque. Most of its rivals work with 2.0-liter powertrains, like the 2023 Volkswagen Jetta GLI, which makes 228 horsepower and 258 pounds to foot of torque and 2023 Hyundai Elantra N, which develops 276 horsepower and 289 pounds to foot but neither of those competitors is offered with all-wheel drive, which is standard for most Subarus, all except the RWD BRZ. The quickest current generation WRX we tested made the sprint to 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 6.0 seconds and did that with a CVT automatic. A six-speed manual is standard, another factor that's distinct about the CB. Most of its rivals come with either a manual or twin-clutch automatic. That said, the WRX we have now is slower than its 2.0-liter predecessor but quicker than a 2019 Jetta GLI, the last version we tested, by about 0.1 seconds. The trade-offs for a big engine and quickness are fuel economy. The 2023 Subaru WRX returns 19 26 of a mile per gallon city slash highway with the manual and 19 25 of a mile per gallon with the CVT. The WRX was, at one time, an Impreza model. Subaru revealed in November that it's repeating history by reusing the trim level that ultimately led to the first WRX in the US, the RS. It will be sold as the top trim of the next generation 2024 Impreza, and in addition to a larger engine than the rest of the lineup, it also receives sportier suspension, bigger wheels, fog lights, and exterior and interior appearance upgrades that differentiate it from other 2024 Imprezas. The original was called the 2.5 RS, a reference to the size of engine under its hood, and this follow-up also comes with a 2.5-liter non-turbo flat 4, which is a half-liter bigger than the standard engine. The old Subaru also featured bigger wheels and fog lights but came with aero and cooling upgrades. The 2.5 RS was only sold as a sedan or coupe, and although it made less power than the new RS, the original had a manual transmission, the new one is CVT only. The WRX may be the brand's sportiest option, but it looks like Subaru hopes to bring a new generation of enthusiasts into the fold with the Impreza RS. As with the previous generation WRX, the 2023 model gets most of its driver assist features only when the car is equipped with the CVT. Automatic high beams are the exception, which are standard on every trim level. 
Emergency braking assist is also standard on all models. CVT models get Subaru's EyeSight Suite, which brings adaptive cruise control with lane centering, automatic emergency braking, lane departure and sway warning, and lane keep assist. Blind spot detection with lane change assist and rear cross traffic alert is standard starting on the limited trim, as are curve adaptive headlights. A same generation 2022 WRX was in its top safety pick plus and we expect the same for the 2023 model. Every 2023 WRX base model features auto leveling automatic LAT headlights, keyless entry, incline start assist, two 7.0 inch central touch screens, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. On cars outfitted with the 6-speed manual, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror is also standard. Premium trims lose the dual screens and gain an 11.6-inch, vertically-oriented touchscreen. Push-button start, LED fog lights, heated front seats, and a dual-zone climate control system are also standard. With the manual transmission on this trim, you also get an 11-speaker Harman Kardon sound system, or the setup is standard on the next model up, the WRX Limited. In that guise, a power driver's seat is also included. At the top of the range is the GT, which boasts adjustable settings for engine performance management, steering input force response, dampers, and torque distribution, but it's offered only with a CVT automatic. The 2023 Subaru WRX is available with four trims this year, base, premium, LT dead, and GT. We think the limited trim is the best, as it keeps the manual transmission in the sporty car and culls the best of the other features. That means the 10-way power driver's seat, 11-speaker sound system, ultra suede upholstery, and curve adaptive headlights. The least expensive 2023 WRX you can get is the base model with a manual transmission, and its stickers for $31,625. The Limited takes the price up to $38,515, or an extra $2,250 if you get the CVT. Subaru asks $44,415 for the top-of-the-line 2023 WRX GT, which is only offered with a CVT.